Here we are, folks. We are live. It is now Wednesday, the 17th of February. And man, it, it has been awesome. You know, we, we luckily missed the big bullet of weather the last couple of days. Uh, they're talking about another uh, bit of snow coming Thursday and Friday this week. But uh, all in all, we, we've been pretty lucky. And, and they said the other day that we're like 49, 48 inches of snow so far this year which is the most we've had since 2014. So that's a, a quite a bit of years since we've had as much snow that we've had and the year's not over yet. I don't think we're done. Uh, I think we're gonna get a little more, but fortunately we're only a little more than four or five weeks from spring and, and uh, things will start showing up. Hopefully some warmer days. I'm getting anxious to play some golf. I'm Tom Young. We're here live today on Facebook and Money Shifts podcast, and, and we just want to share knowledge and information to help you find your way to a better future, better financial future, personal business. Uh, it is really about personal growth because personal growth will take you. It will help you get to where you are really, really want to go in the future. As we start every day, we want to make sure we send out our prayers for everybody that has been affected in some way by COVID-19. And, and I got to believe that that has really around the world really affected everybody. You know, I don't know who to blame or whatever, uh, or what the meaning behind it was. There are so many conspiracy theories out there about everything that's going on from the World Bank all the way down and everything else. but. Uh, Let's just make sure that our heartfelt prayers go out to everybody. We need to pray for each other and, and share those prayers. We need to pray for those who have lost loved ones. And we need to pray for the loved ones that have been lost, that the Lord above would open his arms and take them into his heaven above. With that being said, today I want to talk about, and, and really what it says in the book, here's law number three. Gold clingeth to the protection of the cautious owner who invests it under the advice of men wise in its handling. So what does that really mean? Uh, there are so many things going on out there. You know, if you were serious about saving long term, I wouldn't run out and start buying Bitcoin today. That, that would not be on my list of things to do. Because you have to work at levels. You have to get all of the basics under control before you even consider speculation in some way, uh, speculating on your money, uh, taking on risk, risk of losing it. And, and I call it the casino effect. I, I don't know how many of you have ever been to a casino and, and realizing when you go to a casino and you put money on the table, or you put money in one of those slot machines, your percentage of winning is almost nothing. Uh, and, and why do we go there and do this? I, I do it because I get entertainment. And, and I, I have never knocked on wood. I've never lost a lot of money. Uh, I'm very frugal in what I do when I look at it for entertainment more than I look at it for, boy, here's my chance to get rich. I don't think that's possible in a casino. When you look at, at banking and the fractional banking that banks do, you have no idea the multiplier effect that a casino has. And realize, you know, they, they make a lot of money. And for most cases in most states in the US, the tax, <laughs> gotta believe this, 50% of the gross revenue coming into the casino goes to the state in taxes for casino revenue. So all of a sudden, they're going to lose half of what they take in, and they have to create a spread on the rest for what they're going to make. So I don't know. So it falls right in line with fractional banking is what I look at. And, and fractional banking might be our downfall someday. You know, they're, they're talking now, they're continuing to print money and put it into this economy. Somewhere in the future, that money's got to come back out of the economy. It, it can't just stay there. Otherwise, eventually, inflation 
will simply consume your money because of the amount of trillions of dollars that the government has added into the economy. It's just common economic sense that when the government adds money, you know, they go to the Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve Bank, the central banking system and borrow money. Where did the central banking system get the money they loaned out? They printed it from nothing. That's what happened. They printed it from nothing. The banks do the same thing. They loan you money. They have your asset as collateral. They go to the Federal Reserve window and they leverage that asset with the Federal Reserve and borrow money at a quarter of 1%. And on average, there's a 5% reserve requirement. So they get to turn over 95% of the money. And they loan it out in a second position and get a piece of collateral and they turn it over and do the same thing. And on average, they turn that dollar seven times. All of that being said, it, it is a mountain of inflation that is sitting there under the water. It, it, it's like a, a whole, I don't know what you would call a herd of sharks. You know, I, I don't know the term of that, but you know, if you look out on the water, you see the calm surface or whatever you see on top, you can't see what's underneath. Same thing with an iceberg. When you see the iceberg above the water, the 90% of that iceberg is underwater. 90% is underwater. And the same thing applies to this inflation thing. Now we're talking about protection of the cautious owner. So, so when you think of the things that we've talked about and the financial mastery blueprint and the rules of money, remember there are four rules on the financial world. So I, I want all your money more on going, keep forever, give back as little as possible. On your side of the table, you have four rules. I want to save and control 20% of my gross annual income. I want to accumulate cash accessible cash to 50% of my gross annual income. So I will never have to run a credit card balance or have a personal loan at the bank again. Number three is no debt. I want, I want to be the owner of my debt. Now, what do I mean by being the owner of my debt? Well, being the owner of my debt means I bought something and, and I have to be two entities in my life. I'm the CFO, the chief financial officer of my household. I'm in business. I'm in a financial business. Whether you want to admit it or not, you are. So this relationship with the money, what, it, what, what really is everybody doing? Everybody is thinking about or dreaming about that magic time in the future we would refer to as retirement. And hopefully when we get there, we have enough passive residual income happening that we can buy our job out. Get that? We can buy our job out. Passive residual income equal to or greater than your monthly desired lifestyle. So I have investments and savings that are generating income to me that is greater than what my monthly income is from work. So I have now purchased my job. I own the job. Now that means I get to choose whether I wanna work or not at that point in time. And my advice to everybody is the same. You never, never, never give up total access to making money because of the monster that is buried in the ground in Washington, DC, or the big black cloud overhead, you got debt and then you got unfunded liability. Unfunded liability are the promises that have been made by our wonderful politicians for future delivery of money that doesn't exist. It hasn't been taken from you yet. That's what that is. So, so they're planning on taking enough money from you to meet that obligation. And right now, the unfunded liability is over $156 trillion. That is over $1 million 
her taxpayer. Could you even envision being in debt for a million dollars? I mean, we're talking about, you know, a large percentage of the population that, that 80% of the population that makes under $125,000 a year. And believe me, raising a family at $125,000 a year doesn't make anybody rich. And how could those folks pay even a mortgage payment on a million dollars? Now we add to that the 28 trillion, which is the black cloud over Washington. You got the, the current debt, which is the black cloud. There it is, I can see it. It's $28 trillion. It's $222,000 per taxpayer. How would you handle a $222,000 mortgage and a payment? A 30-year payment on that would be like, I don't know, a hundred, be 12, 12 to 1500 a month, I would think. Could you handle that extra payment? But see, the problem is, is we have not we haven't convinced the politicians yet that we're getting angry out here. We haven't convinced them that, that they need to stop spending money that they don't have yet. Because what they're doing is they're spending the future of our children and our grandchildren <laughs> and our great-grandchildren. I cannot see this going away so there is a big reset coming somewhere in the future. I know the people of the world, they want one world order government. Now, how does that pertain to you and I and what we're talking about here? That's why it is so, so important for you to get control of your financial world, your own financial world, own your own debt and be in control because we don't know what's gonna happen in the future and all I know is having control of my money and having no debt to other people gives me the greater probability that I'm going to be able to get through and survive whatever comes. And remember, a mortgage is not consumer debt because I have the asset. I have leveraged an asset to borrow from the bank. And that's why I talked a little bit about yesterday what, what are the two most important assets to own? Real estate and permanent whole life cash value life insurance with a dividend paying mutual company. Don't believe me, Google it on the internet. B-O-L-I, bank owned life insurance. And that's where they keep their, their most secure money. The money that has to be kept safest, they keep it in life insurance policies because even the Federal Reserve tells them this position has the least risk of default. Imagine that, imagine that. So all this is today, the message is today, is don't be frivolous with your investing. We've talked about that. People get caught up in chasing interest rates. And the higher the interest rate that you chase, the more risk has to be taken for the opportunity to make that high rate of return. The historical average of the standard and poor's is under 5%. Get that? It's under 5%, it's like 4.89. So if you're chasing eight, nine, 10% or more, imagine the risk that you have to take in order to make that kind of rate of return. So protect your money, be the protective owner of your money. Learn some discipline, accept the challenge of being disciplined enough to save 20% of your gross annual income, to work your way out of debt, and I can help you with that. Get my book, The Family Money Farm, The CFO Project, you can get it at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, any of the big booksellers, you can communicate with me here on Facebook. I'll send you an autographed copy and we'll pay for it with a PayPal invoice and, and do it that way. It's easy to do. You can also go to cfo-project.com. Here it is right here, cfo-project.com. Put in your email address and you will get a free copy 
of my book, cover to cover, a download. You'll get an instant email giving you a link where you can actually download a full copy of my book. It will change your life. Now, when you go here, there's going to be an opportunity to invest in your future. There are four other books there. Live Your Life Insurance by Kim Butler. I wrote the foreword in that book. Life Insurance, Will It Pay When I Die? It was a book that just second edition had just been republished. Jumpstart Your Financial Freedom and R. Nelson Nash's Infinite Banking Concept. That, that book is so important. And what is available on there is a digital copy of part one of the book, which talks about the basic premise behind the book. The book itself is $20. Plus tax and shipping, you can also buy that through me, or you can go to Amazon and buy it online. They also have that book available. But there was a one-hour video on that site that will change your life. The secret to creating wealth and multiplying your dollars. Getting two, three, and four turns on every dollar that flows through your life. It's so important to understand that. You cannot afford to not gain and earn all the money you can on your hard-earned money that you trade time and money for. With that, God bless. We'll be back here tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow is going to be gold slippeth away from the man who invested in a business purpose with which he has no familiarity. Be careful where you invest your money. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. So with that, God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.